Hey guys, it's Tucker and Janae with Adventures with Tecne, and recently we got a few small tears in the roof of our RV. Today we wanted to show you the steps to repair it yourself so that you can save yourself money and time in the shop. So we found out we had a hole when we got a big rainstorm come in, and I uh, temporarily patched it with Gorilla Tape. You can see the hole here. First step I did was I cleaned the area with rubbing alcohol and a paper towel or rag. I cleaned it about three or four different times just to make sure that it was clean because you're cleaning the surface that your permanent patch is going on. Uh, here I cut the ends off just so they didn't cause any further damage. Here's the Eternabond RV rubber roof and leak repair tape. I cut it to size and then peeled the backing off and stuck it to the roof. Um, once you get it stuck on the roof you have to firmly press it down and they actually make a little roller to roll it on but since ours was on the edge of the roof I chose to do it with my hands just because the roller probably wouldn't have worked very well on the lip there. Um, it You can just patch with the tape but uh, I chose, after doing some research online and on Facebook in some groups, I chose to actually caulk over it with some Dicor, which you'll see here in a few minutes. All materials that we used are linked down in the description box below, as well as a detailed blog post that goes over step by step. So here's the Dicor laps, self-leveling lap sealant and basically I just caulked around the edges and on top of it. This is the same type of lap sealant that is used around your air vents, it's used around your air conditioner, it's used around your black tank vent. Um, it levels itself out so it looks nicer. Uh, this was the first time I was using it so I didn't do the greatest job there. Uh, I actually had it run off the lip on the edge of the trailer there. I've still got to get up and clean that off. But the reason I did this was so that it was double sealed because this is our house and the last thing we need is water damage. See right here is where it messed up and leveled itself down towards the gutter essentially. This does dry. Um, it becomes waterproof within four hours. I believe it's 80% firm within 48 hours, and then in 30 days, it's 100% firm. Cured. And there you have it. We cleaned it up a little bit, and then... Tucker used a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the sides there, I believe, too. Yeah. Be sure and check out the blog post that's linked below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope that you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And you can also find us across all social media and on our blog. Thanks, guys.